Hey everybody, it's Red76. I'm back on Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies Voyage of Despair. I'm going to show you how to build the Fallen Guard Shield. This is the upgraded version of the Ballistic Shield. So, to begin, you need to activate the Sentinel Artifact, and the Sentinel Artifact is going to unlock the map, open up all the passageways. It's pretty much a necessity for anything that you want to do. Any kind of Easter egg, and the mini Easter eggs like this one here, which is for the Swallowing Guard, okay? So, activate the Sentinel Artifact, and then you're going to want to unlock the Pack-a-Punch machine by activating all four pedestals. So, if you need a guide on how to unlock the Pack-a-Punch for Voyage of Despair, or how to build the Ballistic Shield on this map as well, the links to those videos will be in the description below, alright? Now you need to build the Ballistic Shield, let your teammates know, and go ahead and pick one up for yourself. Now you're going to look for a firework rocket that will be stuck in a mail or message pipe throughout the map. There are five locations in all that the firework can spawn in at random. The first being here on the bridge. If you look through the window next to the RK-7 garrison, you can see the firework stuck in the pipe. Just shoot it and it will float through the pipe. FYI, this firework can spawn in at any one of these five areas randomly. So it spawned in there first, but if you play the game another time, it may not spawn there. It may spawn in over here. This is the second location within the bridge area that the firework could spawn in. You'll see it fluttering in the gold pipe if it is there, which it's not on this one. But if it is, just shoot it and it'll float through the pipes. It's fluttering because it's stuck. So all you need to do is just shoot it and it'll float through the pipes and land in the next section. I don't know if the firework can spawn in an area that you've already checked, but it doesn't hurt to check it again if you've already checked it or if you're close by, and especially if you can't seem to find the firework. The third possible spawn location is located on the Promenade Starboard deck. If you look through this window, you can see a gold pipe with light shining on it. If you see the firework there, shoot it. In our case here on the video, it wasn't, so I had to move on to the next location. The fourth possible spawn location for the firework can be located here in the third class berth. This is going to be right above the provisions area. As you can see, there's the firework stuck in the pipe. I shoot it and it goes up through the pipe. The fifth and final possible spawn location for the firework can be located here in the first class lounge. If you look through this window, you'll see a mirror on the back wall, and to the left of that is a gold pipe where the firework can spawn in. There are three possible locations for the firework to be collected by you, with the first being here in the mail rooms. It would have dropped out of one of those pipes into that box right there. Since it wasn't there for our game, I had to move on to the next location. The second possible location is here in the millionaire suites. You'll find this box right here for receiving mail, and there's the firework. Just press the Use button to pick up the firework. It'll be collected into your inventory, but you won't be able to see it. The third and final possible location for the firework to be picked up is here in the engine room. As you can see, it's in what appears to be a wicker basket. Just press the Use button on the firework to collect it. Hmm, ¿qué es esto? Could be important. Now you will need to place the firework down so it can be launched. The first two possible locations are here on the poop deck. Here in this holder, and here in between these two chunks of iceberg in this holder. The other two locations are here on the forecastle with this one being next to the Danu perk and the other on the opposite side near the stairs. I prefer this one. It doesn't matter which one you decide to launch it from as long as your timing is good when you do launch it. Now at this point you're going to need to locate four skeleton parts. Four bones. When you find them, don't pick them up. What you'll need to do is, every time you locate a piece, you need to write down the number that is near that part. You can either pause the game and write the numbers down, or you can type it if you're on PC, and that way everybody can see it. I type what part and then the number that I've found near it. For instance, right here in the mail rooms, I found the skull. The first set of numbers can be hidden. They're on a piece of paper sitting on top of this crate. And sometimes there's a bottle in the way, so you might have to shoot the bottle to clear it out so you can see the numbers. Since the skull was near this number, I type skull and then 1912. As far as I know, the numbers are random, so they're not always going to generate as the same number in the same location. The second part is a skeleton hand sitting on top of this table in the mail rooms. Below that is the number 1404, so I wrote hand 1404. The third part is also here in the mail rooms. It's the leg bone located on this shelf. Below that are the numbers 2340. The fourth and final part is going to be a foot. You'll need to go into the cargo hold, go down these stairs, and then do a 180. Go past these crates on the right, and you'll see the foot sitting in that box. To the right of it are the numbers. 
so I typed out foot 4250. By this point you should already have a shield and you'll need to return to the mail rooms and locate a safe. If you watch the single player intro to this map, you'll see Scarlet Rhodes use a safe cracker on the safe. Pull out your shield and shield bash or melee the safe cracker off of the safe. Then you can press the use button to pick up the safe cracker. Scarlet safe cracker did as she said. It opened this isn't good. a thing. Now you will need to locate four safes around the map. You can open these safes in any order, but I prefer to start at the back of the ship in the third class berths. The reason for this is so I can work my way over to the mail rooms, and also it saves time because I'll need to go back to the cargo hold. From the poop deck, head into the third class berth down these stairs, and head down this hall, and on the right you will see a safe sitting on the floor. Press the use button on the safe to place the safe cracker on it. I'm gonna shove my SLM What is in there? Uh, another dimension? When you're done Can I use this. it to escape this one? After the safe door opens, take note of the number that is on the safe cracker. It will have one of the four sets of numbers that you found earlier from the pieces of paper. For our game, it was 1912, which meant that I had to go back and get the skull. So I went back to the mill rooms and collected the skull off of the table. Ah, oh, can no one else carry this? For it. I worry it may create an inappropriate bulge right in my outfit. Essentially, you will need to pick up the part that matches the number that you found on the safe cracker. So for us, 1912 was near the skull. When I opened the safe, it said 1912 on the safe cracker. So I went back, picked up the skull, and now I'm taking it back over to the safe. When you walk up to the safe, press the use button and you'll place the part inside. The safe will automatically shut, and then you'll need to shield bash the safe cracker again to be able to pick it up. The next safe is located here in the first class lounge on the floor near the bowie knife. Just repeat the process as before. Place the safe cracker on the safe, notate the number that's on the safe cracker after it opens, and then go pick up the part that coincides with that number. Go to the mail rooms or the cargo hold, pick up that part, and then take it back over to that safe. Oh, perhaps this will prove useful. Perhaps it will ruin my pants. The third safe is located in the Millionaire Suites right here on the floor. Just repeat the process as before. If the artifact caused this item to be here, it must serve a purpose. The fourth and final safe is going to be located on the bridge here in the captain's quarters. Just rinse and repeat. Died. It's all good. Oh, uh -uh. <sighs> this could have value. If not, I will give it to the Frenchman. After you place the last part in the last safe, you won't be able to shield bash the safe cracker to retrieve it, so don't worry about it. At this point, you'll need to make sure that your firework is inside one of the holders. Just walk up to one of them and press the use button to place the firework inside. Now go to the cargo hold and you'll find a car within a crate. It'll be to the left of this portal. Inside the car, you'll see a skeleton sitting in the driver's seat. Press the use button on the car and you'll send Mr. Bones into the abyss. From here on out, you're going to hear laughing and funny noises around the ship. That's just Mr. Bones flying around in the car outside of the ship. Yes, I said flying, not driving. He's flying around. So go back up to the top of the ship around maybe the forecastle or the poop deck. And occasionally you'll see him flying around in the car. You'll hear engine noises and backfires coming from the car, as well as a sped up version of the song Right Where We Belong, which is the song that plays on the single player intro to this map. Here he comes. Uh, Out of ammo! How reckless of me! Now we're at the final part of the Easter egg. What you need to do is keep an eye out for Mr. Bones and his car flying around the ship. You need to stay near the firework and line up the shot 
when the car flies over the firework. All you need to do is shoot the firework so that it launches onto the car. The timing with this can be kind of tricky, so if you miss your shot when you shoot the firework and it misses the car, don't fret. Just wait until maybe the next round or until he comes back around again on that side of the ship. If the firework doesn't respawn in the holder, or you miss too many shots and it's just not showing up, maybe go back to one of the three locations where you picked up the firework, from either the mill rooms, or the millionaire suites, or the engine room. Otherwise, you might just have to wait until the next round starts, and then walk over to one of the holders and see if you can press use on it to where it places the firework inside. In my video, watch carefully how I do it, because I get it on the first shot. I don't always do that, but surprisingly I did this time. I believe the best way to do this is to wait until he's about to fly over the firework and then fire after he honks his horn. So wait till he honks the horn and then count to one and then fire. So he honks the horn, count to one, then fire. Don't fire as you're counting to one and don't fire as he's honking the horn. You might do it too early or too late. So wait till he honks the horn, count to one, fire. Oh, he's coming. Okay. Got it. This. I hate it even more. Another thing you can do to make this part easier is to maybe have a teammate take all the zombies away from the person trying to launch the firework. That way they can focus on that and not miss. Many is the time that I was taken down by a group of zombies because I was attempting to shoot the firework onto that car. Or I was trying to shoot the firework and I either shot it too soon or too late after getting hit by the zombies. That really sucks. Now go over to the poop deck where the ballistic shield is and let your teammates know to meet you over there as well. If you look out toward the water at the poop deck where the ballistic shield is facing, you'll see Mr. Bones lose control of the car and he'll crash it into an iceberg. A chunk of the iceberg with the skeleton's power will fly back over to the poop deck and land on the ballistic shield. You and your teammates will be able to pick up the ballistic shield, but it's now upgraded to this fallen guard. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. This fallen guard will have a cryo freeze effect on it more ammunition, and it will be a lot stronger. I highly, highly recommend you do this step to get the upgraded shield before you fight the boss. The Svalen Guard works wonders, and it will quite literally save your ass. Bye. So I found a glitch with the staff. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on. That's so cool. Can you throw a homunculus? Actually, never mind. I'm trying to get them off of me. Shields ready. Oh, yeah. Another bloke with a shovel. I hope everyone. Thank you for throwing that. Blue. There you have it, guys. That's how you get this Valen Guard. If you have any questions, post in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helps you out on your quest to beat the Voyage of Despair Easter Egg, or if you're just playing the map in general. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, or if you'd like to see my videos in general, subscribe to my channel. If you liked the video and it helped you out, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know what you think about this Easter Egg in the comments, and if you have questions, like I said before, just post in the comments below. Kick ass on your quest on Voyage of Despair, Black Ops 4 Zombies, and I'll see you on the next one. Yourself? <laughs> oh, die, you can die. I will, but then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>